Today I'm going to show you how to install PS Housing, a resource made by the Project Sloth team. There are quite a few steps for proper install. There will be timestamps, so feel free to jump around. I'll have a link to the resource in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. And once we're here, we're going to open our server resources and create a new folder called PS Housing with brackets. Once you're done with that, we're going to open it up and then we're going to install the resource and its dependencies. So we'll go to the latest. Okay, and once it's open, just open it up and go back to the folder we created and we'll drag it in. And then we'll remove the extra stuff from the end. Okay, then we can close this. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the dependencies. So PS Realtor will open in a new tab. Go to the latest again. Okay, then we'll drag this in and again remove the extra stuff at the end. Then 5M free cam, same thing. Drag it over. The last dependency is Oxlib. I'm not going to put that in here. It's just going to go out in the open. So we'll do the same thing. Download. And then once it's done, just drop it into your resources. And next we'll go to our server CFG. And we'll ensure them. Okay, and after they're insured, we're going to hit file and save. Now that we've insured everything, we're going to go through the installation steps in the README. So we'll go to QB multi character server main Lua. And open that up. Then we'll go back to the GitHub. Once we're in here, we're looking for this. So we'll copy this here. Control F and then we'll paste and here it is there. So we'll go back to the GitHub and copy the full thing. And then replace it. And then we're looking for the create character. I believe it's right under here. So we'll replace this as well. And then we'll hit file and save. Next, we need to go to QB spawn. And we're going into the client. So same process as before. We'll control F and paste. There it is there. We'll go back to the GitHub and copy the full thing. Okay, and then we'll search for this. Copy the full thing.
and replace. And then we can hit file and save. The next area we're going to is Kiwi Spawn, but the server Lua this time. So we'll copy this and replace. Then we'll hit file and save. Okay, next we're going into QB garages. And we're going into the server main Lua. Okay, once we're in here, we're going to search for this. So we'll copy this. Control F and paste. There it is there. We'll go back to the GitHub and copy the replacement. And paste, and that's all we need to do in here. So we'll hit file and save. Then we're going to QB Garages Client Main Lua. And we're going to search for this here. Go back to the GitHub, we're going to copy this one. And then we're going to paste it under. And then we'll hit File and Save. Next, we'll run the SQL. So before we do that, be mindful of the note they put here. So we'll open Heidi. Go to your database. And we'll select this. Okay, then you can close out of that. After that's done, we need to delete QB apartments and QB houses. And then we need to remove this from the FX manifest in QB spawn, QB multi character, and QB phone. So we'll go to QB multi character. And we'll just comment this out. Hit file and save. Then we'll go to QB spawn. File and save. And then lastly, we we'll go to QB phone. Next, I'll show you how to add the log. So go to QB small resources, server, and then the log section. And we're going to copy this and paste it at the end there. Now, to get the webhook, you'll need to make a channel in Discord. Then go to the settings, go to integrations, and create webhook. Then we'll copy the URL and paste it there. Then you'll hit file and save. Next, we'll go into the config for the realtor job. There are some options in here. The first one is the realtor job. It should be default unless you changed it. Then we have if you want people to use the slash command to open the housing menu. And if you want people 
to use the tablet and whether or not an animation happens. If you want to use the tablet, there are some changes you'll need to make in the items.lua. And the last section is for what job grades you want to be able to do certain things. Now, if you opted to use the tablet, we'll need to go to QB, QB Core, Shared, and Items.lua. And then we'll control F and look for tablet. And we'll need to change the unique to true and usable to true. Then we'll hit file and save. Next, we'll go back and look at the config for PS housing. Again, we have some options in here. The first section will need to be edited if you're using QB target, QB notify, and so on. So we'll change this to QB. Okay. The next section is allowing anyone with keys to decorate the house. Then we have the log system. So if you set up the webhook, leave that as true. Next is dynamic doors, which turns the place doors into working doors. If you set it to true, you'll need to add something in your server CFG, which I'll show in a moment. So we'll change that to true. Then we have the police job names. So if you have multiple, be sure to add them there. That's followed by a grade check to raid and how long the timer is and the raid item. I'm going to leave that as false. Then we have the realtor job name, which again is default. If you changed it, make sure you change it here as well. Then we have the commission percentage um, for the realtors based on their job grade. And lastly is the starting apartment options. If you don't want starting apartments, set this to false. Everything else in here is shells and furniture for the housing. So if you did change something, be sure to hit file and save. Then we'll go to our server CFG. And I'll show you what to add for the dynamic doors. So go back to the GitHub, we'll copy this. Go back to the server CFG. We'll paste that there and we'll hit file and save. Okay, so we're in the server. And once we're here, we're going to type migrate houses and migrate apartments. Okay, so now you need to set your stash and wardrobe. I'll just go in the living room here. So F1, furniture menu, storage unit. You can click and drag. To move it there's also some options over here so just place it on the ground then add to cart go to the cart and purchase and now as you can see there is my stash now for the wardrobe we'll do the same thing Right, so we've purchased that and now we have the clothing, the outfits. Now for creating houses and the real estate portion, I'll set my job to real estate. And also give myself a tablet. So you can type slash housing and bring up the menu. You can also open the tablet and it'll do the same thing if you have that option enabled. So in the apartments tab, you can look at each apartment and see who lives there. You can search people and you can add them. It also tells you in the preview how many people live there. 
Now I'll use this house in the background as an example for a new property. So we'll go and set the door. I'll come over here. And we'll make this the door. And for the garage, we'll come and put it over here. And for the description, and then a price. Now you can choose the shell type, which is what it looks like on the inside. I'm not sure what these all look like. So I'll just pick one and then create property. And then you go back to properties, view the property, and it has pictures here. And if you go to manage property, you can change the shell, add images, move the door. So we'll change this to two floor house. And the pictures generate again. And then we'll come over here. You can see the information, how much it costs, all that and showcase property it's just the empty shell on the inside now to sell the property you can go back into the menu go to the house and go to manage property <clears throat> and then you just put the player's id here so i am two It'll pop up for them to confirm the purchase. And then it lets you know you bought the house. And during that, the logging system does work. Shows when a house was brought, if a realtor changed the shell, and when people purchase furniture. That'll be all for this video. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.